Right here, I'm here on Willie Drive. Where you can see there's still tarps on top of homes, storage units in front of homes, and debris right on front yards. People I spoke to say that they were on their last dollar. Even neighborhoods just a few blocks over have been displaced. I talk about it and I get a little, a little emotional. It's hard for Anthony Lee to see his neighbors' homes on their front lawns. He's lived on the street since it was built over 35 years ago. His mother and other family members live here too. The city said that last time we got to destroy it, that they had fixed the problem. The excuse was that we sold the pumps in route. This is the third time that the pumps don't work. Lee has seen new developments around him being built up on higher ground, putting them at the bottom of what feels like a bowl. Just a few blocks over, an entire neighborhood of over 100 families has been displaced. Village, and he assured us that they have no intentions of allowing that to just go to waste, that they are in the process of seeking funds to be able to bring those uh, people back. Until then, the people of Caroline Villages are living in other government-funded housing. Paula Reed believes this is for some children out of school. So children may not be able to attend um, their regular schools or go to school or get to school for that matter because they may be out of the area where the, um, the bus may normally come and get them. Uh, their parents may not have transportation. And the, the case is just, it's, it's, it affects the entire family. To help families rebuild, the city of Daytona has set aside $2.5 million in funding. Homeowners can apply to get up to $9,000 in support. Well, then when you turn it over, you ain't nothing to worry about. You guys, you know, just, just, just believe that, it, that it'd be all right. So it's, it's, it's hard, though, man. It really is. Uh, Reed thinks it hopes that the city is going to be able to have the Corps of Engineers come out and look at the whole region as a whole and assess places like this and try to figure out how to prevent flooding in the future, although people are wondering if that's going to happen before the next storm. In Daytona Beach, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News.